Okay, so today we are going to continue making parts for our model car. Uh, if you have not completed your back wheel, we're going to start on that today. So go ahead and open up a part file if you need to start your back wheel. And the first thing that you want to do is we need to make a couple of circles. So we start a 2D sketch. We're going to start on circle and just make a random size circle. We'll take our dimension tool and click on the circle and we click again and that opens up our edit dimension window we can type 0.25 for the first one then we're gonna go up and make a second circle now it's very important that we start the second circle from this green dot that's right in the middle where we started our first circle from that way they're kinda aligned okay they have the same center point so this one you can make any size as well because we're gonna dimension it once again so we click dimension, click on the circle, and then click off in some open space. And now this one for the back tire, we want 2.25 inches. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger than the front tire. From there we can finish sketch. Zoom out a bit. We can hit extrude. We want to change our distance to 0.75 inches. And once again, remember that Inventor doesn't know whether you want to extrude this middle part of the circle or the part between the two circles. So make sure and click where you want it to actually extrude. For us, it's here so we can make the wheel shape and then hit OK. Now we've got to make that cutout right in the middle here again. So we're going to start a new sketch. Click on the front face here. Click circle. We're going to start a new circle. and dimension it 1.25 inches. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I can finish sketch again. And we can do another extrude. Now this one we are going to cut in 0.25 inches. So notice I'm going the wrong way right now. I've actually got to switch to my cut command. And also, like we discussed yesterday, the arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. So it's going to try to cut into thin air right now. I actually have to change to direction 2 so that you see it cutting into the tire or the wheel. Okay, so our wheel is essentially done. The one thing that I will want to do is put on some fillets. Uh, if you want the curve to be more or less, you can adjust this radius here. But just click on the corners that you would like to round. And then you can go ahead and give it a skin as well okay so make sure that you go ahead and do a file save um, I've already done this but when you save it make sure you're saving in your uh, part files folder and it's called back wheel back wheel once you've saved continue on with the video okay so we are next going to make a an axle for these wheels to sit on now from here, the easiest way to make a new file is just simply go File, New, and just hover over it. Don't click on it, just hover over it. Then you can go down to Part, and that'll open up a brand new part file. We'll start a sketch again, and our axle is going to be very easy to make. All we've got to do is make a circle. Whoops, I didn't start that right on the yellow, which I guess isn't the end of the world. We're going to make a circle, then we're going to dimension it. 0.25 and then we're going to extrude it so we'll finish sketch extrude and the distance we want is four inches four inches okay so now we've got our axle and we can go ahead and do a file save on this again and call it axle a x l e in our part files folder as well once you've saved, continue with the video. Okay, last but not least, we're going to make our car body now. So hover over new once again and go to part. And we've got to make our car body. So we're going to do start 2D sketch, draw on the XY plane again, 
here's my suggestion to you. You want to make a line to start this car body. Okay, so that little purple line here, this is the first line I'm going to draw, and I'm going to dimension it right away. So I'm going to take my dimension, click on the line, drag my mouse down a bit, click again, and I want to make this thing at least six inches. You could probably even stand to go up to 6.57, uh, somewhere around six inches. Okay. Now from here, whatever you do is kind of up to you. I'm going to do all just straight lines, but if you want to play around with trying to connect curves together and whatnot, you can. Just remember, everything needs to actually connect together, or else it will not work Okay, as a uh, extrusion. So make sure all your lines or shapes or things are connected together. Okay, so like I said, this is more kind of a, like a drag racing car, so I'm going to make sort of that body style. You can make yours whatever you want, okay? Just make sure you have the 6.5 line at the bottom and that all of your lines are actually connected and touching each other. Uh, once you've got the general, whoops, I have to hit undo. Once you have the general body drawn, we can put in two circles, one for each of our axles. Now, I'm going to make a circle. And dimension it. It's got to be 0.25 because that's the same size as our axles were. And what you're going to notice is, hey, that circle is underneath your bottom line of your car. Well, we can easily, easily uh, change that. We have to hit escape on our keyboard a few times so that we're not in dimension tool anymore. And then we can just click this middle dot of the circle. And you can actually drag the thing around then to whatever spot seems like a good fit so now we can put the hole in the back and notice once again inventors giving us these construction lines uh, but the most important one is the one that's coming over from the center of the other hole because that's basically helping us line up so that we're at the same height with both of our axles okay so that looks pretty good now we can extrude this thing so i'll hit finish sketch extrude and I will click on the car body. And, oh, I want this thing to be around three inches. Could be more, could, or, well, could be less. You really don't want to go much more than three. And once again on this thing, it would make some sense to do some fillets. You know, round some things over. Make it look less blocky. And, of course, you can change the radius on your fillets if you'd like but you know just kind of taking the extra little detail in here Ooh, we don't want that last one I'm gonna actually cancel that out and I'll quickly try to catch up to where I was good Good, good. We'll say that's good. Okay? So now I've got a little bit more of a sleek design. You can change the color if you want. Let's say I wanted a, oh, an indoor pool colored. Oh, that looks ugly. Let's go with, we'll just go with orange for now. Okay? Um, now, you can really customize this body. Say you have extra time, you can add things like, let's say you wanted to, you know, add a, an engine block sticking out of the hood here. You could do that. You could just make a, a square and extrude that to look like what you would like. Um, you know, you could you could really do a lot of things with this. You could cut in little windows and things. I'm not going to take the time for that right now, but you can customize this in any way that you would like. When you're done with this, go ahead and file, save it one more time. Call this car body and make sure it gets into the part files folder as well. When you're done with the two different types of wheels, the axle and the car body, you are ready to assemble and may move on to the assembly video.